In a recent turn of events, ICICI Securities Limited faced a proposal for delisting and merging with its parent company, ICICI Bank Limited. The proposal, despite encountering resistance, garnered significant support from institutional shareholders, showcasing the dynamics of corporate decision-making. The recent shareholder vote unveiled a disparity in opinions between institutional and retail investors. While 83.8% of institutional shareholders favored the merger, only 32% of retail investors supported the proposal. However, the substantial institutional holdings in ICI Securities played a pivotal role in tipping the scales in favor of the merger. As of December 31, 2023, institutional investors, both foreign and domestic, collectively held 16.68% of ICICI securities, whereas non-institutional public shareholders possessed 8.55% of the company. This breakdown illustrates the significant influence institutional investors wielded in the decision-making process. CB mandates stringent requirements for delisting and merger proposals. These include the necessity for a substantial majority of shareholders in the delisted firm to vote in favor of the proposal, as well as a higher number of shareholders in the listed holding company supporting the merger. Despite the proposal's approval, retail investors voiced their dissent, particularly on social media platforms. Some retail shareholders alleged that ICC bank employees engaged in aggressive lobbying tactics, including persistent phone calls, to influence them into supporting the merger. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.